Hey, this is May's chapter 12, part 3. All the alien nation came to a head for her way back when in Texas. Having seen what her uncles did and knowing she was of the same fabric caused in her the same immediate revulsion many of us experienced, but she was not so easy to accept her lot in life. She who had hunted small game, birds and hares and squirrels, acquired a self-loathing hard to shake, for she could never imagine harm coming to her sisters and brothers, her mother, the humankind who had loved her irregardless of her eccentricities. The scene in the woods with her so-called uncles shattered her. She kept quiet about it. What else could she do? And she was acquainted with her brother's friends, the ones who were shifty and went off to empty rooms and abandoned houses or bathrooms to get high. And easily she got in good with them, feigning a crush on one particular dude who was all cowboy and did whatever he wanted in a high-gloss rebellion. Long since dropped out of school to sell dope, and she hung off his arm. He was attracted to her, too, the girl with the green eyes, but intimidated if not frightened by the stories going round, the rumors. So he decided rather than to turn her on to him, it would be best to turn her on to this stuff, not knowing that what she, that was what she was after from the gate. In a short span of time, she moved in progressive fashion from alcohol to weed to coke like they do and had not a concern in the world for herself. And when she finally snatched the Oxycontin, which he deliberately hid from her, knowing what people knew who got into that scene, her cellular makeup had changed permanently.